Water, Up, Down, and All Around. Written by Natalie M. Wasinski. Illustrated by Matthew John. Water, Up, Down, and All Around. Where do raindrops come from? Plop, plop, splash. Raindrops trickle down your face. Once these raindrops sailed in a cloud, they roared in a river, they crashed on the seashore. These raindrops have circled the world. The water cycle. Raindrops are made of water that has been used over and over again since Earth began. They are part of Earth's water cycle. The water cycle begins as water flows from down from the mountain lakes. Water also springs up from deep within the earth. From mountains and springs, water runs into rivers and oceans. Fun fact, water covers more than 70% of Earth's surface. Sunlight heats up nature's water until it evaporates. When water evaporates, it rises into the air. Heat turns water into very tiny drops called water vapor. Water vapor is floating in the air all around you, but you can't see it. Water vapor cools off as it rises in the air. As water vapor cools, the tiny drops get bigger and bigger. The drops can now be seen as a mist or a fog. Watch the clouds sail through the sky. Clouds are also made of water vapor. Fun fact, you can see water vapor indoors too. Steam is the vapor that rises when water boils. When clouds brush against cold air, the tiny drops of water vapor get even bigger. The water vapor in the clouds condenses and turns into rain. If it is cold enough, the, the vapor may turn into snowflakes. Water vapor condenses in other places too. In early morning, you might see glittering on a lawn or field. Water vapor in the warm air has condensed onto the cold grass. When it is cold outside, frost sparkles on your window. Frost is frozen dew. Where does water go? Snow melts. Dew drops evaporate into the sky and turn into clouds. Rain flows into streams, rushing into oceans, or sinks silently into the ground. Water gets trapped in mountain ice. Fun fact, only 1% of Earth's water is good for drinking. Most water, 97%, is salty sea or ocean water. The rest is ice. How is water used along the way? Deer drink from forest lakes. Fish swim through ocean depths. Corn and wheat grow tall as their roots suck water from the ground. You need water to live, too. Fill up your glass, jump in the pool, rinse your soapy hands. Fun fact, Earth's water is used over and over again. You might be drinking water that people or animals drank thousands of years ago. Yuck! Water can be too dirty for drinking or swimming. Unhealthy things can wash into water from factories, farms, lawns, and toilets. That is why cities have places to clean the water people drink. No swimming. Not so fun fact, wild animals don't have ways to clean their water. <clears throat> round and round we go. Plop, plop, splash. Rain dribbles down your boots. Fun fact, water dribbles inside, your, inside you too. Your thirsty body is two thirds of water. Here's an image of the water cycle. The water cycle begins again. It goes around like a circle, it's a cycle. Here's some experiments to try. Dry out an apple slice. Did you know that apples are made mostly of water? With an adult's help, cut a slice of apple. Let it sit on a plate for several days. Watch what happens to the apple as the water inside it evaporates. 
make your own dew. On a warm day, add lots of ice to a glass of water. Wait several minutes. See how water vapor in the warm air condenses on the outside of the cold glass. Make your own frost. Fill a plastic bowl with hot water and place it in the freezer. Take a glass or a metal plate and put it next to the bowl. Close the freezer door and wait a few hours. What has happened to the plate? If you try any of these experiments, you can take a picture of the process. Post it on our Google Classroom to share with your teacher and your friends.